Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos describing how to use technological tools in the classroom. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of how to utilize Edmodo, a tool that you will use to access lectures, homework, and homework quizzes throughout the year. Since you'll be required to use Edmodo throughout the school year, you'll need to sign up. Don't worry, it's free, secure, and designed for educational purposes. To begin, go to Edmodo's website, www.edmodo.com. Please follow along, pausing when necessary, so that you can sign up while you watch the video. Next, click the I'm a student button that's highlighted on the right, and register with any email that you'd like. Either your school email or a personal address will work just fine. Once you've signed up, you'll need to join my class. To do so, click on the plus sign under the groups heading that should be found on the left-hand side of the page. Highlighted in red, next you'll have to click join. Finally, you'll be prompted for a group code. This code was handed out during class today. This group code will allow you to join your specific class that can be later locked. Only members of the class will be permitted to view class materials, take class quizzes, and comment on posts. There are a tremendous number of different uses for Edmodo. In the next few slides, I'll run through what some of those uses are and describe how you can utilize them as a student. This slide exhibits one of those uses, group posts, that's boxed in red. One way that I will utilize group posts is I can use it to lead you to different resources throughout the year, such as different websites or videos that might be useful. Group posts can also be used as a message board for educational purposes. Within this section of Edmodo, you'll be able to ask your teachers or classmates questions throughout the year, which would be especially useful if you're at home or if you happen to miss school that day. You will also use Edmodo to submit assignments throughout the year. While you often have the option to turn in a physical copy of an assignment, you'll almost always be given the option to submit one online instead, saving paper and space. The red box shows the location that you will be able to turn in assignments. Assignments will sometimes just be typed in as a post, or documents can be attached. Finally, you'll be given optional homework quizzes over the videos that you're asked to watch for class. Edmodo allows me to give you randomly ordered questions with randomly ordered answers to different groups within the same class, which should help to keep you honest. Uh, questions will be multiple choice, matching, fill in the blank, and true-false. These homework quizzes will help prepare you for the type of questions that you will encounter on actual tests and quizzes that take place during class time. This tool in Edmodo will show me if you get it and let you know if you need to spend more time looking over materials before you show up to class. There are many different online educational tools out there, so why are we using Edmodo? First, as exhibited in this picture, Edmodo is accessible on a wide range of different devices. If you're on a full-fledged computer, all that you really need is an internet browser, but apps are available for all Apple, Android, and Windows devices. Second, Edmodo is kind of a one-stop shop. You'll be able to do everything from watch videos to take quizzes to ask questions and discuss them in one place, as opposed to signing up for numerous online resources. Third, it looks a little bit like Facebook, or so I'm told, so hopefully you'll be a little bit familiar with the interface. Finally, it shouldn't be blocked in schools. Uh, you should be able to access this content from anywhere as it's designed for education. That is the end of this video overviewing how we will use Edmodo in class this year. If you're interested in learning about any other classroom technology tools or any themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.